Back inside the Whole Foods Market, Amy is with me. And Amy, we're talking all about one of my favorites, Power to the Pepper. You like peppers? I do like peppers. All right, they well, smell so good. They do. I, I mean, we can smell them now. They, they smell taste delicious. Good too. So um, right now we're just having a great special on peppers in our store. Mm -hmm. They're called Whole Trade Peppers, which is um, something you'll see around our store on a lot of our produce. Yeah, what's Whole, whole Trade all about? Whole Trade means that the farmers that grew these peppers are um, given fair wages, uh, good working conditions, and um, their uh, farming practices are just environmentally safe. So you feel good and you get good yeah, food. Yeah, peppers with a purpose. I like it. I like it a lot. But we're talking power to the pepper now. Power to the pepper. You're going to teach me how to cut because yeah. I always mess this up. Because no. they got all little seeds in there yeah. and you never know what to do. It's easy to do. Um, so I'll tell you how a good way to pick a pepper sure. is you want to pick one that's shiny. You want to pick out one that's wrinkle free. Um, and also, like right now, we have all the beautiful orange and yellow and red peppers. Um, all peppers start out green. I did not know that. And certain varieties will uh, change color as they mature. Isn't See, that kind of cool? Do they have a different taste? They do. The green is um, the mildest. Yeah. Uh, well, they're not spicy, but this is the mildest in flavor. And then when you get to the colors, they get More sweeter. Sweets. Yeah, right. sweeter. Well, tell me about the Power to the Pepper event while you're chopping okay, a little bit. Because sure. you've got two chefs going head to head. Right. We're going to have a little battle in the store this Saturday at 3 o'clock called Power to the Pepper Cook-Off. Uh -huh. And we have two of our in-house chefs that are going to do their favorite pepper recipe. And uh, we're going to have customers vote, and it's a little competition, and maybe have some fun. Any kind of a, a heads up out there, or what people are going to make yet, or it's is that a to surprise. be determined? So it's to be determined. We pro I probably won't even know until the day before, and I'm the one that has to write the recipes uh, up. Well, I'm voting for fajitas. Okay. I like, I like All right. Fajitas. Well, I'm going to do a quick pizza for us. Let's do that too. I like. So pizza there's as well. not one person in the world that hasn't bought a frozen pizza and doctored it up, right? Guilty. So this is my new favorite Whole Foods uh, brand pizza Ooh. that has arugula and a really nice ricotta style cheese so that's what I have here and um, I cut both ends of the pepper off and I'm gonna show you a really quick way to chop up this pepper you're gonna give it one little slice where you're kind of opening so kinda them up the crease there a little bit yeah and you're just gonna take your knife and keep it flat and just roll through and get all those white ribs ah. off in the center very easy that takes me about five minutes when I no, do. No, you just go slow when you're learning and then all right. Knife so, skills are important. Knife skills are important. Cut it in half so it's nice and flat. I cut on an angle where it's, I think, proper to go straight, but I think it has something to do with me being left-handed. I do everything wrong. You're left-handed? Yeah. Can't you? Okay. So I did little strips. Uh, now we're going to dice, and that's it. You can do the dice as big or as small as you like. It just depends on how much pepper you'd like. Good All sound right. effects, too. Thank you. Always Well, you know. All right. So here's our pizza. Yeah. Now I we've have, got some already chopped. Yeah, I have some already chopped, and I did every color. They're so pretty. So this is how we're going to doctor up our pizza. Do you like it for the different taste, or you just like the color? The color. Kind of both. Yeah, well, yeah. both. And you eat with your eyes first. That's true. All right, and then I have some of our store brand 365 grated parm. All and right, look, throw some of that on there. You got a little pizza. You got to dash the olive oil, too. Yeah. Anytime gonna, I make a frozen pizza, definitely. I got to oh, This is going to be a good pizza, and fast, and uh, inexpensive. So uh, this is going to come rushing out and embarrass me, right? Oh, that's no, not too I, I bad. I thought you did pretty good. Okay. So let's put this guy to the side. Okay. And by the magic of television, woo, My I favorite. have one cooked. Olay, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Festive, that's um, delicious, savory. Yeah, 10 minutes, about 400. And then to top it off, I have some fresh arugula. Again, I'm going to put a little olive oil on here and just dress this up a little bit. You can okay. even do a salad dressing if you want to get a lot of flavor. Arugula on pizza is so good, isn't it? it it's delicious, nice and I like crunch. it when it comes out. Makes you, know. you feel like you're eating healthy, even though you're kind of. There you go. You can yeah. even grate some more cheese on there. Isn't that pretty? Where's the cheese? I like a lot of cheese on my pizza. Though. Yeah, well, yeah. Cheese with a little bread, right? <laughs> Might as well. Some tomato sauce in there. All right, so tell me one more time, when is the Power to the Pepper event? This Saturday, 3 o'clock. Come on in. We're going to be in this general area where we are in produce, yep. and you're going to watch two of our chefs get ugly with each other and cook up some peppers. All right, so what are you thinking? Fajitas? Pizza? I don't know. I, I, I hope it's something we can all relate to. Either way, it's going to be delicious, I'm sure. Amy, thank you so thank much. Thank you. We're going to uh, tear into this pizza yeah, right now. Yeah, there you now. go. So from Whole Foods, we'll say goodbye, but make sure you hit the Power to the yeah. Pepper and then, thanks, Amy. Thank you. Mm. We'll be back.